So the third uh, approach to calculate gross domestic product is called income approach. So we studied production approach and then expenditure expenditure approach and number three income uh, approach. Uh, let me start with LANE national income. LANE. Okay. National income, the total income earned by the factors of production owned by a country's citizens. Okay, so national income, national income, income earned by citizens, by UAE citizens whether they are operating inside or outside the country. National income mainly includes compensation of employees, which are mainly wages, prioritors income, income for very small businesses, corporate profits, profits of companies, net interest, and rental income or rent for real properties. How to calculate national income? I will give you a list of equations later, but now number one, if, if you put your idea, number one, we calculated gross domestic product, let's say according to expenditure approach. And then we add income received from abroad minus income paid to abroad. So we will get a gross national product. A gross national product minus depreciation, we will get not national product. So how to calculate national income National income equals net national product minus between two practices in direct taxes minus subsidies. What's the meaning of subsidies? Financial aids from the government to some businesses. What is indirect taxes? Tax such as value added taxes. So Income earned is somehow less than income produced. So income produced by citizens after consideration depreciation is called not national product. What is national income? Income earned, which is less than a bit less than net national product. Why? Because we pay value added taxes. What is compensation of employees? I'm still with Lana. Lana, assalamu alaikum. Oh, I was reading without uh, unmuting myself, sorry. Compensation of employees includes wages, salaries, and various supplements, employer contributions to social insurance and pension funds, for example, paid to households by firms and by the government. Okay, just a very simple way. If you ask me about my salary, I will say 20,000 dirhams. If you ask my employer about my salary, he will say, no, it's not a true 20. I pay Salem 30,000. What's the difference? Because he add, for example, housing allowances, education fees allowances, medical care allowances, and social insurance for pension funds. So if I get retired, the pension funds will compensate me. So some companies gives clothes to or food to their employees. So the total package, so we will say cash 
salary and total package. So compensation of employees, total package paid to employees. So this is the first component of national income. Prioritors income, Lana. Prioritors income, the income of un of unicorporated businesses. Okay, prioritors income, income for sole owner, income of very small businesses. For example, Abdul Aziz owns a taxi and he's the owner of the car and he's also the driver of the car. So in the end of each year, there will be an income. The income is very difficult to be distributed among wages and the profit. So we will take the sum of the income of sole owners or prioritors income, income of very small businesses. Uh, what is uh, Lana? Rental income, the income received by property owners in the form of rent. OK, so what is the re rental income? Uh, rent or income received by landlords for renting their real properties. Let me go to uh, Farhane. Farhane, are you with me? Farhana, assalamu alaikum. So what happened to uh, Farhana? She couldn't hear me. You are muted. OK, so Maryam. You are controlling the place. Yes, doctor. Are you Maryam? Yes, Maryam Abdullah. There is two Maryam. Maryam Abdullah. Yes. Okay, let me see Maryam. Maryam and Nakbi. Yes, Maryam. Mar yes, okay, let me go with uh, Maryam uh, Abdullah. Maryam Abdullah, corporate profit. The income of corporate business. So uh, corporate profits, a profit earned by companies such as Etisalat. Uh, Net interest, interest paid by businesses. So we, when we say net interest, uh, interest received and paid. So the net interest, so uh, interest paid minus interest received, so equals not interest. So interest paid by businesses. There are other kind of interest. For example, sometimes the government uh, gives interest to general public because the government uh, borrows money from the general public because general public uh, purchased uh, national bonds. So here we are talking about interest paid by business sector because they use the money or fund to expand their projects. So indirect taxes minus subsidies. So indirect taxes, which is value added taxes, subsidies, finan financial aids from the government to some businesses, so how to calculate national income equals net national product minus between two practices and direct taxes minus subsidies. If you remove the uh, brackets, it will be minus indirect taxes plus subsidies. So think about income earned, income earned, not income produced. So see here how to calculate a gross national product from a gross domestic product. A gross national product equals a gross domestic product plus receipts of factor income 
from the rest of the world. Assume Alia operates a business in London. She's going to send her profit to the UAE. Minus payments of factor income to the rest of the world. Salim works in the UAE. He is an Iraqi guy and he's going to send part of his salary to his family abroad. So this is minus. We will get a gross national broad, a product. How to calculate not national product, not national product equals gross national product minus depreciation. How to calculate national income, just I as explained, equals not national product minus between two practices in direct taxes minus subsidies. It is technology. So Maryam Abdullah, net national product, net national product. Maryam Abdullah. A gross is national product minus uh, depreciations. A na a nation's total product minus what is required to maintain the value of its capital stock. Okay, so uh, uh, gross domestic product goods produced within the border. A gross national product goods produced by citizens. Not national product goods produced by citizens under deducting an amount for depreciation. Otherwise, we will consume capital stock or capital goods. So what else we still need to understand personal income and disposable personal income? So what is personal income? Uh, thank you. Uh, personal income. Personal income, the total income of households before paying personal income taxes. OK, so uh, what is uh, personal income? It's sort of adjustion. I, I can say uh, income received income received national income income earned but unfortunately we don't receive the whole income we earned so personal income income received before paying income taxes or direct taxes maryam naqbi disposable personal income adkhal ash-shakhsi al-mutah Maryam Naqbi. Personal income minus personal income taxes, the amount that households have to spend or save. Okay, so what is disposable personal income? Equals personal income minus income taxes or direct taxes. So we are free to use disposable personal income for consumption or saving. The most important one, how to calculate personal income. Personal income equals national income, income earned, minus plus some items. So see here, what I did, I say minus corporate profit plus dividends. Why? Because national income includes corporate profit. Assume it is a lot earned a profit of 100. But the problem, it is a lot cut part of their profit for retained earnings. Retained earnings for further expansion. And they distributed only dividends among shareholders. So I need income received, which is personal income. So I ha have to cut uh, 100 dirhams and add, for example, 60 dirhams. 
So in the end, what I cut, I cut retained earnings. Retained earnings is a part of a profit which not distributed among shareholders. OK, social insurance payments. It's part of compensation of employees. But employees. Don't receive in insurance social payment. In, in, in uh, social insurance payments, it paid to uh, pension fund. When I become retired, they will give me compensation. So social insurance payments, it's a part of compensation of employees of or uh, total wages, but we didn't receive this part, so we have to deduct this part. Plus personal interest income from government and households. So national income includes interest paid by business, but doesn't include interest from government and other households. So assume our people received interest from government through national bonds or they lend other households. And the plus transfer payments. What is the transfer payments? Financial aids from the government to poor people, not for participating in producing goods and services. National income includes income earned by citizens for producing goods and services. So we don't record transfer payments. So to record to calculate personal income, we have to add. <coughs> we have to add a transfer payments. So this equation is important. Just try to understand it now. But later I will give you these titles, these terms in the question and you have to arrange them and you have to put them in the right order. So deduct items which we don't receive it. Add items which we receive it. OK, what is uh, now we got disposable personal income. Bart, we will uh, spend the majority of uh, disposable personal income for consumption and the rest for saving, which is, which is called personal saving. Personal saving divided by disposable personal income as percentage, it's called personal saving rate. So now it's a time for numerical problem solving exercises. You can find uh, a file which is called uh, calculation in the LMS. Let's see this file. So uh, here in the file you can find it in LMS which is called calculation. Uh, so, uh, Abdul Aziz, you couldn't hear me. Ali Hassan, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, doctor. Can you read the question 2.1? The table below contains the national income and product accounts uh, data on the banana land economy. Quantities following are given in millions of banana land dollars. Use this information to calculate the following. OK, so in this table we have data on some variables. And first. Do you know I, I need to explain the concepts? The equations are quite easy. So number one, a gross investment. The gross investment equals, as we explained in the slides, equals net investment plus depreciation. 
in the in the slides before I highlighted how to calculate net investment. Net investment equals gross investment minus depreciation. So now I ask you to calculate gross investment. So it is equals net investment plus depreciation. Try to help me to find in the table. Do you find net investment? So this is net investment. L let me make it red. Net investment. Where is depreciation? And here the depreciation. So what is the gross investment? Net investment 100 plus depreciation 50. OK, now calculate net export. Net export equals exports minus imports. Let's see where is exports. So this is export. Let me make it. Uh, a blue export. Where is the and this is imports. So 60 minus 50. Don't change the equation. Don't change the equation. What is a gross domestic product? We have an equation. C plus I plus G plus net export. Net export, which is 10. A gross investment. 150 we calculated before. So now I need to look for consumption and government purchases. So could you find for me consumption? See here, this is a government consumption and investment. This is government purchases or government spending 75. So don't get confused government consumption and investment, which is government purchases or government expenditure. Now, personal consumption expenditure, it's also available. So we calculate a gross domestic product. We calculate a gross domestic product. A gross national product. Just I explain the equation gross national product equals gross domestic product plus what Alia earned in London minus what Salim earned in UAE and send it abroad. So receipts of income from abroad, payments of income to abroad. So I think, see here, uh, GDP plus between two practices minus. Since it is here plus, if you remove the practices, it, it will not change the equation. Just let me be sure uh, if I can payments of income to the rest of the world, five. Receipts of income from abroad, so from abroad minus to abroad. So four minus five. So see here, what is the change? What's the difference between a gross domestic product and the gross national product? It, it's a minor difference, but I guess in the UAE, the difference is a bit larger because we have lots of expat rates working in the UAE. This is one of the discussion questions in the end of the chapter. How to calculate net national product? Net national product equals gross national product minus depreciation. So depreciation is 50. We saw it before. So keep in your mind the gross is bigger than the net. The difference between them is depreciation. National income, just I mentioned the equation before. National income equals net national product minus between two practices in direct taxes minus subsidies. If you remove the practices, you have to change the sign of minus to plus. So minus 
indirect taxes plus subsidies. Personal income, we just explain the equation. So minus corporate profits minus dividends. See here, I put them between two practices to refer to that, I deduct retained earnings, الأرباح المحتجزة. So national income minus retained earnings. Retained earnings equals corporate profit minus dividends. Minus social insurance payment plus personal interest plus transfer payments. We explained this equation before. Do you know all these tight terms are available in, 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 in the table? How to calculate disposable personal income? It's quite easy. Personal income minus personal taxes, direct taxes, income taxes. All these three terms are exchangeable. And I put another question, 2.2, but I changed the data, but I request you to calculate the same and I give you final results. This is for your practice. 